Hello and welcome back to Let's Try. We're trying a forward escape the fold. I have actually already tried this game once before, but that was in its early state before release. So we're going to be trying the new version. This is in uh, collaboration with the uh, Game Development World Championship. You can ch check out the Game Development World Championship website for uh, new indies uh, of all kinds. And uh, if you're a developer, you can consider joining to win some prizes. Um, this is also a uh, key provided by Two Tiny Dice as well as the GDWC. Thank you very much, uh, y'all. I really appreciate it. No, this is not sponsored. Um, so it, it's not going to reflect on my opinions on the game. But um, I already know that I, I like this game, which is why we're covering it. Um, but uh, yeah, I've, I've been playing this a little bit. I only unlocked uh, one of the new characters. We'll play the original character just to so I can kind of... Uh, give you an idea of how to play this game it's it's uh, not an entirely deep game and i think that that's like kind of the point and i think it does what it does very well um the monster of the lake you sit on the edge of a black lake but you notice something stirring at the bottom of the body of water um suddenly a giant snake emerges and attacks you oh no giant snake uh oh um <clears throat> so this is um this is the in in a, in a kind of a vein of simplistic roguelites um you can really only do one of three things well that's not true actually you have a special move you can use but you can move in one of three directions um and you cannot move from all the way from one side of the uh cards to the other but we're just going to be picking um picking oh, hold on a second i i thought i could click i i got confused because i saw in the options that there's an option to uh click to move but uh, we're just moving ourselves over um if you land yourself in front of a monster then they will attack you and that's pretty much the size of it there's going to be hazards and obstacles on the field and we're going to be doing our best to optimize our route we got ourselves a chest here uh recovery when you heal yourself you receive one extra hp last for three moves i tend to not um super like consumables mostly because i can never trust myself to actually use them we're going to be grabbing some healing potions um you can also grab shields shields are exactly what you think they do last until you uh, lose them in the form of taking damage and that's really like kind of it there is there isn't a lot um going on here there's a couple of curveballs and yeah you can get improvements and the improvements come at an interesting kind of risk um which i do appreciate we're gonna we're gonna grab that mana one more mana and we should be able to use our superpower um i'm a little bit worried we're getting close to our boss here we can get this shield that shield will cancel out the damage from the mind flayer looking creature uh and it looks like we're going to be taking um exactly nine damage but uh and currently we only have the nine health um you could take that shield but the, the healing potion is actually going to be better than either the sword or the healing potion the sword is going to do one damage to all visible creatures and that actually lowers their attack damage as well um, but obviously the, the healing potion is going to do the most for us, I guess. Actually, not really because this healing potion is going to be wasted slightly. So maybe, I don't know. I guess, I think all three of those choices were more or less the same. When you receive protection times three, uh, you receive protection times three when starting a level. Protection gives you one armor durability after each move. Uh, you heal one HP when you receive a new status. When you receive blindness, you gain... Uh, they, they like to throw things at me that um, mitigate blindness, but I've honestly never gotten blind, so it's a little bit interesting. Um, I think this strawberry will actually do me. You get some um, various points, and you can rack up a score and, uh, you know, hopefully get to the end. The Unknown Woman, a strange person wearing a colorful mask, comes to you and reveals that you are the one. You laugh nervously and watch in amazement as her hands begin to glow brightly. The person disappears and you realize that you feel much better. Nice. So we can either get full health or uh, increase maximum health. I'd rather get increased maximum health because you can recover your health um, throughout the combat. But that's my kind of risk proposition. That's my risk, uh, risky way of playing, I guess. Disturbing voice. In your head, an anonymous voice says, I know everything. I see you. Go back. A horrible horde of creatures then begins to attack you. Ah, yes, I know this creature. Uh, I don't know if they're particularly, like, they, they got a lot going on here. We're going to get a free kill here. At least oh, we'll, we'll, we'll get a kill for free uh, without taking any damage. And we'll do so again here. 
good to kill creatures when you can because they do drop some nice stuff i do often find myself in a situation i guess that one was not free because we took two poison i don't know how i feel about um if you've blocked the damage completely but you still take the poison damage i usually like it like if you manage to block the damage um completely then you don't get the status ailment as well but i know that that would uh that seems a little bit forgiving um so our special move we can we can use it it'll do two damage to everything on the field and that's actually great for us right now um although the thing is is that killing creatures really only matters if you can get their loot um and i don't like i'm gonna be grabbing this healing potion first of all and i'm gonna be grabbing the shield second of all so um you know i guess at this point we could start thinking about using our special move use that and we can collect some coins coins are obviously good um because eventually you can go to the shop and uh buy some new stuff um but you know like at a certain point i think i should prioritize uh survival so you, i would love to get the shield because it would make cancel this enemy out completely but um not the case but that's okay we're gonna recover pretty much completely uh unfortunately we're gonna get poisoned here no matter what but that's fine um we're only taking 10 damage from the boss which is not nothing but you know it's something uh red beetle gives a plus one healing potion cards for each corrupted item in your inventory so here's this interesting kind of risk proposition here is like you could take items that basically um are better depending on how many bad items you have in your inventory bad uh, corrupted items tend to just be a lose situation they don't give you any benefit um but they can benefit you i guess overall um if you can mitigate their uh their negative uh aspects completely but uh yeah i i don't tend to go this route i mean i don't know maybe maybe there's like a very broken um way of winning if you can if you can go full corrupt but i, I don't tend to go for that that being said, I haven't gotten very far in this game. I'm actually not very good at it. So replace all chest cards with golden chest cards in all future levels. This item cannot be stacked. When you lose all your armor points, you gain two stealth. I actually really like this. Um, stealth can uh, allow you to, to kind of slip by some monsters without um, attracting their aggro. <clears throat> right now, monsters are attacking you if you go right in front of them, but eventually and probably pretty soon, uh, monsters will attack you even if you are uh, diagonal to them. The smell of dung is appalling in this dungeon. As you move forward, you see the sleeping body of an impossibly large dog. Despite your best efforts at stealth, the dog stirs and then wakes you. Wakes up. Sorry, what, the, what is wrong with my brain? It turns and looks at you with hatred. I will crush you. That's a weird way of saying woof woof bark bark. I'm a friendly doggo and I mean you no harm. Um, we'll check out this merchant chest. That should be, we should be able to buy some stuff. Any healing potion card gives you greed. Greed grants two times, uh, plus two the, to gold coin cards. Last for one move. Um, gives, chest give you plus, uh, gives you five gold and blindness. Heals you by six HP when starting level. Don't we already have that? I, I think, no, actually, I guess I, I use that up. Equipped items heals you by six when starting a level. So I guess we could get another apple. I wonder what happens if we get another apple. Does this mean I have two apples now? Yeah, I do. So now when I start a new level, I will pretty much re recover to full health, which is kind of nice. Um, all right. So what we're going to do, this is a good opportunity to use this ability because we're going to reduce the the whatever the bearer there um, by two. And that means when I grab this healing potion, we've actually profited um you know some health then we'll grab the sword that should kill everything around us actually and we'll grab some gold coins um we do want to get shields because now we have the ability to um uh get stealth whenever we lose our shield in fact we're going to get it right now we're going to lose our shields and now we have two stealth the stealth enemies no longer attack you so that means we can go in front of an enemy like for instance um to recover our, our health i don't know why i would take this one when there's a four right here and it does um, reduce our stealth by one. We can go here and then we have zero stealth. But hey, we, we just gained a bunch of health for basically nothing. We do want to avoid these poison. There's a mimic up here. I don't know if the mimic um, does anything fun. Like, I don't know if it gives us something. 
It'd be nice if it did. Um, let's give it a go, I guess, because then we'll get that stealth again. Yeah, I mean, we got a sword, but we would have gotten the sword from pretty much anything else, too. <clears throat> um, kind of want to get the mana. Uh, yeah, we'll get the mana because the thing is, we're going to win this no matter what, and we're going to recover all of our health in the next, um, as soon as we start the next level. So actually getting that mana is better for us. There's that red beetle again. Vitality Choker, when you lose your power, lose all your HP. Sorry, when you use your power, lose all your HP except one and gain seven armor durability. You receive immunity times three when starting level. This item cannot be stacked. Um, you can't have any other status effects as long as you have this one. I don't know if I like this Vitality Choker. It does, it will give us armor, but it'll actually um, kind of go against our build a little bit because losing um, all of our armor is actually better. And this is going to replenish our armor at the cost of all of our health. So I don't think that that's actually very good. So I'm gonna get that immunity stone. It's not necessarily very good either, but um, it's better than the others in my opinion. A tall strong man calls out to you and offers you a game. He presents you with three chests and asks you to choose one of them. You decide to open the one on the right. I do, huh? Monster tentacle adds three poison cards in all future levels. So th these are corrupted cards. When an enemy attacks you, they have a 25% chance of inflicting blindness. R removes four potion cards in all future levels. This corrupted card has a negative effect. Oh, I see potion cards, not poison cards. Um, and I can't actually refuse this now because um, the only way to refuse it is if I had uh, six health or at least a little bit more health to give up. Kind of sucks that we couldn't get our 12 health from our apples before doing this, but um, there it is. So add three poison cards in all future levels. All right, well... Maybe we can deal with that. I'd rather have more poison than less healing. You discreetly hide behind a huge tree to observe a group of nearby enemies. A sudden noise resounds above you uh, and makes you raise your head. They are in the trees. Time to fight. I will crush you. That's a weird way of saying uh, bark bark. I'm a friendly tree dog. I, I, you know? Um, all right, so we're going to... We're still dealing with um, creatures that attack directly in front of you, which is nice. Um, we still have immunity for a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, I kind of want to get a shield before I start doing any damage. We have that more poison. Um, could go over there. I don't like the route we're taking, mostly because it's very... If you take too too friendly a route in this game, then you're actually kind of shortchanging yourself a little bit. Um, let's do this. This is actually a good use of this right now. Because we'll go ahead and kill that guy for one damage. Uh, we'll get some gold coins. We don't really have a lot of gold coins to justify this merchant. Does this guy do anything extra? He doesn't do poison or anything. I'm a little bit concerned about the, that good dude. He's going to be doing seven damage to us. But we'll do it. Um, the next poison card you will pick up will not apply poison. I don't, I'm not huge on temporary effects. You get a random status times three, positive or negative, after being attacked by an enemy. Uh, that's kind of dicey. Get, chests give you five gold. I don't really like any of these. I've uh, I've kind of talked about this before, but I'm not you really big on. Um, like the i don't I wouldn't call it a trend but uh roguelites that like every positive that you find comes with some kind of like shortcoming because that's the same as basically getting nothing in my opinion i like it just it, it feels that way a little bit it feels like i'm i'm just kind of like i don't know making no progress um if if something is nice or it gives me a benefit that uh i don't know felt like permanent or gave me something like, I don't know, like extra damage or something. Like, I don't know what that would look like. I guess extra damage really comes in the form of more health or like more chances to use my ability. But if every single benefit I get comes with some kind of like gruesome shortcoming, then you're really kind of undercutting whatever like dopamine effect you might have from um, playing the game in a way because you're, you're not going to... Well, I guess we, I didn't, I, this is a permanent upgrade. Gives plus one to healing potion cards for each corrupted. I would love to take this. 
greed times three all right we'll take it we are only taking one damage here except it's poison uh there straight up needs to be a better better uh, conveyance of information there i had no idea that that guy was going to inflict me with three poison if that was the case i would not have done what i did we might actually die now um pretty sure we are going to die oh right right no sorry the the reason we got poison wasn't because that creature inflicts poison it's because we had we got that uh that we just bought a card literally the thing i was talking about this meat um after being attacked by an enemy gave us times three poison so luckily we can't die to poison but i mean my god i really don't know how i feel about that um we managed i guess we uh we might have that what is it this immunity horn you receive immunity three to when starting level do we still have immunity it's hard to tell oh we're for sure gonna die oh maybe not um i can use my effect here so let's see here oh, we actually survived honestly um color me amazed gives negative one to poison cards for each corrupted item in your inventory as one shield card in all future levels as long as you have stealth gives plus one to store sword cards um we can kind of manipulate this but actually since we have a corruption kind of wouldn't mind i don't know if we can uh, i'll take it i'll take it you nervously enter a ruined temple an altar made of black stone stands at the end of the nave on which is inscribed in blood ink the god of the living will know how to reward the one who offers him his blood so um they're gonna offer me a bunch of rewards here that i can't take because i only have one health left removes two potion cards in all future levels this is a corrupted card the only i mean sure yeah i mean i'll, I'll take it why not I, I i apparently am building into a corruption now a strong storm comes up and prevents your progress. In the dark rain, you see enemy figures coming toward you. Time for a char uh, time for carnage. I'm coming to get you. That's a weird way of saying bark, bark. I'm a doggo in a hood. Yes, this is a good joke. All right, so there's our immunity. We do have immunity. I'm going to grab this shield. Uh, now, the, the shortcoming of our meat here is that it's when you are attacked by an enemy however if i attack an enemy I'm pretty sure it will not did we oh okay so never mind there, there goes all of our immunity because we just got three effects well that's a funny way of phrasing that after being attacked by an enemy seems to me that would be whenever you sit in front of an enemy and then they attack you not when i like go out of my way to attack uh, a creature but okay um what do we want to do here i i like honestly regret buying that meat completely like i don't know if i understand the point like yeah okay cool we get greed now and we can get some extra coins but like on on more than one occasion now that uh that that thing that i spent money on has almost killed me so i don't know but i'm gonna i'm gonna make use of that greed while i have it i did get quite a lot of money um we have stealth right now uh, i'm kind of curious how we can best get through here there's no way to get through here um i guess i want to go to the right because at least there's healing on the right uh we'll grab the shield and we're definitely going to grab this merchant chest. Let's see what kind of things we can buy. Uh, more health is actually very good. Um, we can uh, probably afford something else as well. Adds one shield card in all future levels. Receive t uh, protection times three when starting level. That seems like a very good thing for us right now. So um, obviously this right track seems very dangerous. But let's go to the left. We have stealth still so we can bypass this one creature here and grab some more um shield uh definitely like making use of shields when we can is is what we want to do i'll grab that mana as well 
Um, you, there's no point in stealth at the end of, of it. Like, you're going to have to fight the boss no matter what, so... Book of Monsters increases the chance that the monster's loot is a monster egg card. I've gotten this before. I think that this is really bad. Um, every three monster eggs owned, you will make an omelet. Gives you... Oh, okay, one maximum. Okay, that changes things a bit, actually. I thought it was only one health. But if it's three... If it's one plus one maximum health, that's actually pretty good. Adds one chest card in all future levels. You receive five gold coins and blind this time through. No. All right, I'll take this monster egg. Let's see if we can't do something with this. An ugly creature approaches you what, uh, with what appears to be a smile. You can just make out that she wants to sell you a few items in front of her. I don't have any money. What is this? Enemies won't attack you if you have one HP. When an enemy attacks you, they have a 25% chance to inflict poison. This is a corrupted card. That's the only reason why you would take that. You are immune to blindness. Um, that's a really nice card, which I wish I could buy, but I can't. You lie down on the side of a dirt road to get some well-deserved rest. When you wake up, you d discover that you are asleep in the middle of a makeshift camp of hideous monsters. They look like they want to fight. Urgh, that's a weird way of... Okay, we've we've done it. The, the, the joke is good. I, I, I'll hail the joke, you know? Chest of the Dead allows you to buy rare and legendary items for skulls. Now, skulls are a different kind of currency. I think you get them from kills. Um, and I definitely want to get that. I took eight damage instead of the two poison. I guess that was a mistake. Uh, you know what I'm going to do? It's a... Uh, inflicts five poison and five... Uh, there's no way of getting around it. I, I don't agree with that, that they can... Uh, they're allowed to attack you before you enter the shop. Healing ring. After using your power, you heal yourself by four HP. That could be great. The heart cards give you six armor durability but do not increase your max now that's awful and then life ward adds one heart card in all future levels uh this could be cool but i don't have enough so i'll take this healing ring oh we got a monster uh egg what i could i would like to get that actually so what i'll do is i'll use my ability uh and that'll actually recover us some health right yes and uh, reduces that guy's damage and we'll grab that um monster egg we don't no point in going to the chest of the dead because we already spent all our skulls and uh things are looking a little dire oh we have stealth never mind okay that stealth is uh gonna buy us a lot of forgiveness here um i god um we don't have any stealth. I'm actually thinking we go mana potion because this is this guy's going to get rid of our shield. And that's good because then we're going to have our stealth back. What do we have here? Powerless. What is powerless? You can no longer use your power. Oh, cool. Last for three moves. Um, all right, we'll go. Uh, this guy up here is going to inflict poison, which I'm really not a huge fan of. Um, I wouldn't mind grabbing this mana potion. Honestly, at this point, I feel like taking two poison instead of five damage and five poison would be better. Um, if you can follow along with that, congratulations. I, I'm a little lost myself a little. So, here's a dilly. Oh, this guy is going to inflict like eight damage or something. But we want this monster because it's going to improve, increase our, our maximum health. Yeah, we're, we're things are looking kind of dire right now. Um, definitely want that healing potion. Do we have, we do have greed right now. Uh, I'm pretty sure we're gonna die. Oh, we know we have stealth. Praise be, we have stealth. I cannot. We're still gonna die. There's actually nothing I can do here. That's a dang shame. If I had even one more mana, I could have survived. Is there anything I can use here? Uh, nope. So maybe I shouldn't have gone so hard on those omelets. <laughs> um, but either way, that's that's the run. And that's about as far as I've ever made it in this game. Um, probably I'm just not very good at it. But I also find that this one, um, th this game has some, you know, design uh, decisions in it that kind of don't work for me 
straight up I, I i like this game a lot i like the simplicity of it but i i think that um and i've said this before but i i think that when you undercut all of your progress or all of your power-ups um all of the items you get um with some kind of shortcoming um it, it, it tends to make the game feel a little bit frustrating because you don't feel like you're actually making progress uh, maybe you're supposed to min max both your negatives and positives so that your negatives kind of line up with stuff that you don't need to worry about But that doesn't really feel like the case in this in this game Like a lot of the negatives are like add more bad things in the level that you have to work around uh, Maybe that's the game's way of adding more challenges, but I think you could add those challenges um, without making the power-ups feel like kind of at the end of the day a negative especially when you're actually buying some of these power-ups like that like i say that meat almost killed me uh a couple of times and i paid gold for that so it's like well what what i, I could have just not bought that item um there's an argument to be made for a lot of those items like why would you buy any of them if they're all gonna have some kind of shortcoming that could potentially kill you i'm not sure um but uh you know maybe maybe it's just that my general strategies for a lot of games don't gel uh with this one that being said at the end of the day i still like it um i, I still like the simplicity of it and i still like the kind of a casual um play of it and it doesn't feel like it's a demanding too much of the player in terms of like how much you have to play this game like i i've also said this before but i think a lot of roguelites tend to be a bit too long and I know I died in this one, but even if I had like completed the game in, in full, it would have been at most like half an hour, I think. Um, especially if it was playing on my own, I'd probably be playing a lot faster instead of talking out each move. But either way, um, this is Forward Escape the Fold. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for a more content like this. And I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.